Good morning to you. This is John and so on with uh, Fila Day. You're right. And Vega Heavy. Yup. Here we go. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, look at this pattern here. Yeah. Yeah, this is weird. It's like, it's like this really, like really, uh, rugged isn't the word I want. R ragged, r rugged edged. Works. There's a word, there's a specific word. Jagged? Jagged is the word I was looking for. You're right, you're right. There's this very jagged edged tunnel here. <laughs> Looks like it was cut, almost, like by some sort of haphazard thing that didn't care if it looked good. Because it opens up right into this this tunnel, this area that looks completely different. Yeah. So weird. I wonder what caused that to look that way. Well, don't look now. Oh no, what are these things? <laughs> the scan placement for this is a little <laughs> odd, I know, but that's the best I could do with it. Omni munchers. Silly class strange societal class wild native desert predatory scavenger species. <clears throat> Originally called rock munchers due to observations of rock and mineral consumption. They were renamed once, found ingesting everything they came across. <laughs> High concentration of solid rock substances have led to an extremely hardy shell. Only piercings or piercing or cutting weapons have proven effective. That's weird. Not even energy shielding is capable of withstanding this aggressive species. Contact with specimen is highly dangerous. A cutting weapon, huh? Yes. It's interesting, because I don't seem to have one of those. It would be interesting. Did, did you actually rename them at any point? Yes, originally <laughs> they were called Rock Munchers. <laughs> yes, that okay. I actually did rename them that pretty from neat. that. I do think that's pretty funny. By the way, um, when we were trying to figure out the word earlier, mm -hmm. did, did you damage them? No. Oh. It made me think I of how I randomly started getting these emails from this um, word oh. something or other. Okay. But they give me like these really obscure new words every day. Okay. And um, I don't think I've ever heard anyone use any of them, and will ever hear anyone use any of them. Okay, like what? Um, I don't remember them. <laughs> They're usually complex words. Okay. But uh, yeah. I'm Device. curious to know what they would be, what yeah. the words are. Device is an entry point to a large ventilation channel. Airflow is guided by a turbine to maintain a cool and breathable atmosphere. Several of these systems are performing below and occasionally above target RPM. Various mechanical and electrical faults are to blame. Warning, keep clear of turbine blades. You can't actually be hurt by them, though. Mm. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be just the worst if I made it so you could get sucked in and just rip the shreds and yeah. when you touched it? This is this this ain't good. How am I supposed to get across <laughs> here? These guys hurt. Yeah. Oh, I also have a light that was turned off in here just because I felt like it. Hmm. Combination of uh, impulse and hover can get you across there. I could have done that without taking any damage, but I kind of forgot to use impulse at first. Hmm. Well, it's better than being munched alive. You're right. Purple! <laughs> <laughs> it's a security lockdown, we will say. Let's route to capsule chamber center. Oh no, are we going to this weird capsule they're talking about? I think so. That's so weird, ain't it? Yep. This terminal is experiencing continuous thermal throttling. Processor heatsink has become dislodged. It was difficult to think of interesting things to put on all of them, so sometimes yeah. I came up with stuff like that. Seismic spikes are being registered nearby. The cause is unknown, but it is likely but it is likely not fault line activity. Uh -oh. I wonder what that's implying. <laughs> I wonder. Gosh, I just wonder. Remember how I said there was supposed to be a greater rag mm -hmm. that was like a giant version of one of those lesser rags? <laughs> yeah. I think that was actually meant to be a reference to that before I removed it. Okay. It could still mean something else now, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it could st there still could be greater rags out there that you oh. just don't encounter. Well, I meant something specific that uh, we come across at some point. There are things that could cause... I guess? 
I guess. I don't know if you're referring to one specific thing though, because I don't I can't think of anything in particular that would do that that's in the game. What's the map looking like when you get the chance? Oh yeah, that is the map of this area. So you went down the elevator that was on the north side of the map, so now we're at the north side. Yes. Oh, and you can do this too. Oh. Neat. Yup. And what's this little what's this little little guy over here? <laughs> little friend. <laughs> Just everybody's favorite enemy. A zipper drone. Highly agile, multi-purpose drone. While the weapon design is shared by the sentry turret, the zipper's programming is unique to itself. It is one of the fastest surface hovering drones ever built, which it can use to travel long ranges or evade attacks. Commonly used as support for invasion teams, it can also be fitted with sensors and tools for many other tasks. Okay, so you may have noticed that it had a purple icon even though I didn't get anything from it. The reason is because that last boss that gave us impulse jets, it's possible to beat it without getting the impulse because it's an optional upgrade. So these are, these zipper drones are meant to, they weren't meant as it, but they have the ability, they were, they serve the purpose of being a backup way to get it. Yeah, so you can't miss it. You, oh, I mean, you could miss it, but... You I mean... You, there, yeah, I, yeah, there can't be a situation where you're unable to get it. That, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right on that. <laughs> so this room was uh, problematic for you, wasn't yeah. it? I got stuck here. No, that was the music. Okay. Okay. I thought one. I thought there was a sound that happened. Oh. Yeah. There's there's going to be some stuff that happens down here. Hopefully. That I don't think existed when you played it. Yeah, that's just the music. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to put a clip. Oh. Wait, was it this room? Yes, it was. This you had tons of problems with this room. Oh, this isn't the room I got stuck in then. You As did get. Wait. You would have seen. What do you mean stuck? Maybe I got kind of stuck, but... Stuck uh, as in stuck on something? No, um, the other room that I'm thinking of is one where I got actually stuck, and I wasn't able to progress until you fixed it, or... or I think something. that was this room. I don't I don't know what room you're talking about specifically, I'm thinking then. of the one where I have to platform around. I mean... I, there's a lot of rooms like that. <laughs> Which one specifically? Uh, we'll, we'll get this to it. This is the only room in the yeah. mine that I remember you getting stuck on. Huh. Uh, maybe it wasn't in the mine? I don't know. You mean like where there's a bunch of platforms everywhere? And yes. You had, and there's bo those containers and I had to send you the video video of how you how to do it? No. No? Um, it was still in like a cave-like area. It was indoor. The one I'm thinking of was indoors, but it was on the surface area. No, I don't think so. I don't know which one you're talking about then. Oh, I know which area you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, we're about to get there. I know which one you're talking about now. But they would have seen. Yeah. What I actually dealt with. Maybe. If I think to put it in. Probably. Torcus Tromedy Prospector. Three full detailed sight scans later, and the bad news is confirmed. The quantity of AM in this capsule is nowhere near as high as we thought. I'm not sure if this site was even worth it. I'm not nearly as freaked out by this place as Cuff, but I can't pretend it's not unsettling. Interesting. Isn't that? It's so interesting. Funny that. You're funny. Dang it, that doesn't work either. <laughs> Alright, so you definitely had problems with this room. Mm. This room was very buggy at the time. Remember this? Yeah. Oops. And you had problems finding one of them. I do remember this as well. Yes. That not finding one and then constantly dying. Yeah. Or finally getting it. Ouch. That might, this might have been one of the places where I had to get a patch. He, I'm sure, I think you had to get a couple of things fixed on this one to do not, it. Not patch, right? Just get the new version. Uh, yeah. I guess a patch would be like if I just gave you updated files for the version you're already on. But, which I don't know how to do that, so... The, so those three locks were the easy ones. This is the hard one to find. You yeah. have to go backwards. Wow! Did you see... <laughs> yes! Wow! That was rough. There's like two groups of them here, right? Yeah, I think so. Wait, I can check. 
Yep, there's two. No. Four? Maybe? Maybe four? Yeah, I think there's four groups here. Wow. And you can't do anything about them until you get something that comes later. Ouch. Ooh, did I get... Yeah, I got that one already. So the trick is to hover until you get right to the end, and you jump, and you dash, and then jump again. Because mm. you can't move fast enough without dashing. So you want to... They get right under you while you're hovering, so right before you hit the ground, you dash to jump out of, in front of them. Then you land and jump immediately before they can get to you. Impulse jet is good for getting around a little faster. Yeah, I think we're the next room. I think is the one that you have the year talking about. All right. I totally forgot about you having problems with that room. I totally forgot that room existed. <laughs> nice little space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the room. So you're supposed to be able to go that way. You're supposed to be able to oh. go that, that way, but the door is red. This is still can't. not what I was thinking of. What? Unless, uh... Are you sure this isn't what... I don't think you... you Wait till you see the next part. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> they do I that think. because of the weird... Because of the way the navigation system works in Unity. You mean instead of just falling down? Yeah. Because they use an actual navigation system rather than just moving towards you mindlessly. Hmm. I think this is the room you yes. were talking about. Yes, yeah. it is. This room is a little difficult. There's one part in particular that is extremely awkward and precise. And I can't change it without changing the entire model of the map, which is not easy to do at this point. So the first thing you have to do is... Oh, and go here... But you can't jump high enough to get up there. So mm -hmm. you have to go over here. Do this. And then this is the hard part. This is the one that's a little rough. You gotta go around here. There we go. That's the hard part. You gotta make sure you don't touch the wall on the way around or you yeah. lose too much speed. It looks like you just barely made it. Too. I did. <laughs> you pretty much always just barely make it. I failed that. I failed that with five stars. No, 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 no. All right, now I think there's one around the corner. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. No! No! What is this? Get off! I don't know how to get to that. I don't know how to get to that. No! Come on! Dang it! So I just got a message from uh, BMW Wolf that says, "Try harder." Thanks, yeah. Ah, I almost had it, I saw. I got it, I got it, yes! There we go, and now, now that we're up high enough, we can make this long jump way over here. And we're done with one try. Look at that, look how easy. How magnificent. <laughs> Creepy. Wait. <laughs> I went quiet because I knew that I thought this was the part that was going to happen. <laughs> Wait, it's not stopping it's, it's done now. Okay. <gasps> I don't know what that was about. Yeah. I don't know what could have caused that. Can you maybe not? Can you maybe not be there and doing this? The, the whole idea of the zippers is that those are really hard to hit. They don't actually have a ton of health, they're just hard to hit. Alrighty. So now we've gotten around that door that was red. So does that always happen there or just random? Uh, okay, do you want me to explain how those work? How the random those sounds? I so there's like, there's like, I don't know, maybe eight of those different kinds of sounds that can happen in the game. They all have specific-ish parts that they happen. Mm -hmm. The way it's designed is that each one of those sounds has three different 
trigger, two or three different triggers each, that are in specific points. So it, it randomly chooses which trigger it's going to select. So when you hit the trigger that it chooses, that's when it'll play the sound. So it doesn't always happen in the same spot. So only one out of each. Yeah, it'll only happen one time, and they're pretty close together, but you won't, you won't know exactly when it's going to happen. You won't know which one it chose. That's the idea. Huh, this weird small elevator going down. Mm -hmm. So weird. Let's try it. See where it goes. See where the wind takes us. Oh no! <laughs> what is that? It's so big. Oh, it's <laughs> so big. Danny? Airlock operation nominal. Walk into hologram to cycle airlock. Okay. Also, I wanted to point out, I did some. There's some, a special feature with the elevator. If I don't okay. take it, and I just go down here. All right. It moves down for you, so you don't get stuck. Just wanted to point that out. Mm. So that's just telling you, oh, this is the exit or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, oh. Heads up, the path to the east is crawling with hostiles. There's nothing critical down there, so I wouldn't go in there unless you feel brave. Yeah, so there's a special room over in that direction that is basically a challenge room for a defense upgrade. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not super clear, so I decided to give a system... I decided to add that so you knew that... Hmm. So there would be some sort of information to tell you you don't need to go that way. Yeah. You do need to go... Not yet, but you do need to go up somewhere else in this area. Oh, oh, forgot about you. Wait. And goodbye. Give me a map. Okay, what are we looking at? Mm. Look at that. Me? That whole right area we don't have to go into unless we want to. Mm. I think the only thing other than that is these this scannable stuff right here. Yeah. This route to freight elevator. Thanks. Personal log file, Clint Sukanji. You Better. nailed that one. <laughs> Science something. Mm -hmm. I've made some Science interesting... lead, I think. Okay. I've made some interesting discoveries about the planet we find ourselves on. It seems this place was once covered in vegetation far more than it is now. But it began to increase in heat and drop in water over the course of millions of years. Around the time the capsule arrived here, the trend seems to have more than reversed. At current rates, I estimate this planet may be covered in almost entirely in liquid water in around only around 2,000 years or so. So it's a desert planet that is projected to turn into a water planet at yeah. some point. So uh, I ain't going in here yet, but I just wanted to point out that uh, this room, this challenge room, is a very uh, important is very important to the uh, structure of the mine and this it whole is. facility. Huh. Yep. But, uh, I don't know if you can see it. See that big container up there? Mm -hmm. This big machine here? That's all very relevant. And there's this thing over there, too, that's relevant that we'll see more of later. Oh, actually, there's one right here. That is the same thing as that one that was in there. I'll explain what that is later as we get there. So, uh, this doesn't look very safe. Spewing out of the capsule. Ouchies! I guess I can't go that way. I guess I will have to remember to come back there later when I'm able to go through there. <laughs> See, this is an example of a room that I think I made too big. Look how long it takes to get around. Yeah. I should have made it smaller. <laughs> but I guess that's just a note to sell for the future. Uh, and I'll just let you know, there ain't nothing you can do over there yet, but okay. that'll be later. So let's just do it. That's not scannable, is it? No. What is this? I thought I was going inside a little sphere. Oh boy. What is this place? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> This is the capsule world. Is that the music? Yeah. Okay. Two oh four eight six three. 
<laughs> Isn't that like your favorite number or something? Mm, not, it's not really my favorite number. I just like that number. <laughs> I like the reference it is, too. Shi Hao Min, site director. I'm going to snap the necks of these amateurs real soon. Some idiot set the yield way too high on one of the blasting charges. The shockwave could be felt up here on the surface. Somehow the blast confused the Kingdom Tower sensors and caused a misfire into open space. If intrusion ships spotted that, I'm not letting the people responsible onto the evacuation shuttles and log. Interesting. This is an interesting little thing we got here too. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that could be. Did you hear that? Yeah. I wonder what it was. Sounds from the distance. <laughs> <clears throat> There's one sound in particular that I'm hoping happens while we're in here. Mm. It's all that lightning? Yes. So interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, more of that green fog. Ooh. There's definitely usable tech in the north end of that place. Stay alert, I'm picking up weak signs of huge entities outside that compound. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Huge entities outside? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You mean outside the capsule? No, outside like the edge, outside the bounds of oh. the walls you can go to. Mm, excuse me. Remaining eastern deposits are dropping. It's about time to allocate more efforts towards the western region. You right. Look at this. Look at this thing. It's like turning for me. It's like turning to point at me. Mm -hmm. Curious. It's so weird. <clears throat> this toxic gas pipe can aim in any spherical direction, though no motor, motor or other mechanism for motion could be found. Object appears to track nearby lifeforms not native to this environment, despite also having no sensors or processing unit. It wants to speak, but has been silenced long ago. <laughs> I have no idea what that can mean. <laughs> okay, now where are we? That's where we are. <laughs> I now know all the information I need to know. <laughs> what's, what's this thing? It looks out of place here. Yeah. Interesting. Looks kind of like those machines we saw back on the outside of the capsule. Yeah. Don't get too excited, man. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm just... Mm hmm. I know. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Where is he? <laughs> well, there he good is! Good that you know that. What? Good that you know that. But I know what? You know. I don't know actually. <laughs> about the honor. Oh. I thought you were referring to something else. <laughs> no. Come on, come on, there we go. Got him! <laughs> this is a little annoying. I wish I could have fixed that. Huh. You know what that is? That's this guy. Ah, yeah. I don't know how to fix that. I mean, I could just put collision on the gas, but I, don't, I think that breaks something else if I do that. Hmm. Skirt on. Do you hear that? I was gonna say I'm hearing something, <laughs> but I clearly heard that. Uh huh. I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> Alrighty, more of these dudes. We're just gonna we're just gonna ignore that last part. Yeah. Nothing happened. That wasn't the sound I was talking about either. Okay. That I said I wanted to. I was hoping it would happen. Connecting to area door controller. Link established attempting to release lockdown mode. Request results 8 replies error code 51 FTX. Failed to lower door security. 1 reply door security more reduced mode no. reduced to standard. Blue. So that's referring to this door right there. Hmm. But, um. I might come back. Okay. Oops. Ouch. <laughs> ouch. Ouch. Ouchies. Ouchies. Okay. There aren't any laughing sounds over there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
maybe there are, maybe there's not. The air here is dense with suffering. With every crack of the lightning, at least one life comes to an end. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. Communication with drones does not seem to be very reliable within the capsule. Wireless signal degradation is quite severe. A signal boost of 44% minimum will need to be implemented. Ah, uh, I got by him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really do like the atmosphere of this place. Yeah. I love all these giant pipes and everything. <laughs> Yeah, all the, they're square too, which is unusual design for pipes. But it was more that it was just easy to work with. But it also looked kind of cool stylized. And got him. Nope. <laughs> and got him. There we go. Put it long enough. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting those guys have more armor because the, the shielded ones have more health. Communication log from Chok Mimren, mine operator to Director Halmin. What the hell happened topside after that blast? Did the kingdom fire? Now the Intusion Federation can very well know we're here. We need to be prepared to evacuate at any moment or we might be the next failed arc to cross off. What? Failed arcs? Crossing off? They're scared of the Intusions? Hmm. Whoever they are. Stop. That's super weird, ain't it? Yes. <clears throat> We're at 27, so we ain't got much longer. So, uh... Can I make it to the... I probably can make it to the next checkpoint by then. Can you maybe not be here? Can you not be... Can you... Can you... Can you... Can you... Can you, can you can I'm only can doing what you told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You know what? Fair enough. But I'd still like you to maybe not do that. Right now... I didn't realize that we didn't have the hmm, next thing. The right next now. thing? Yeah, that has to do with what we were just looking at. Oh. The door. You, the, the next thing? Yeah. Well, yeah, we don't get that for a while. Well, it's actually it's pretty... Actually, it's not that far away now. Okay. But we don't get it in here, that's for sure. Can anyone tell me what those dark foggy things are? They've injured anyone that approaches the Aeon Crystals they're tied to. I don't care if there are beasts attacking us up so topside when there's evil fog ghosts attacking us down here. Just get us a security detail. Okay. That doesn't sound like a good sign. Notice, violent entities present beyond this point use extreme caution. This is also not a good sign. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> yeah. Maintain at least 20 meters distance at all times from entities. <laughs> Neat. I think the sign was doing its job. <laughs> Security lockdown. Oh no, I can't go back. Whoa. Uh, what is that? Uh, what is that? I can't go that way. This don't seem good. Does no. this seem good to you? No, nope. I don't think so. Looks scary. Oh no, I'm so scared. Incorporeal sentience detected. Subject whisper, unknown hostile entity. Subject appears to be capable of erasing atoms from existence upon contact and will chase foreign objects within a certain range. Entity cannot be harmed directly, however it is bound to a particular AM crystal. So this tells us what those yellow cubes are. Mm -hmm. Lack of all other information on mm -hmm. the first screen, though. Mm -hmm. Destroying the crystal will cause the whisper to dissipate. Only they who are born of my womb will be invited into a new life upon my awakening. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I don't know. This crystal has been substantially weakened, rendering it vulnerable to weapon fire. An unknown barrier has been detected that protects it from ranged attacks. Okay. Only beams from within the ring can damage this crystal. Its breath continues to slow as its imminent death looms. I love those little, little <laughs> bits. Little tidbits. Mm -hmm. You probably like that. Uh, 
This guy is real creepy. I'm too scared. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> you probably add like uh, some sort of filter to my voice or something when reading those if you wanted to do something with it. That's way too much to ask. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Said if you wanted. I just want you guys. I just want to capture what it sound, how it sounds, and what it looks like for a second before I destroy it. Okay. I hate it. <laughs> it also puts out its arms. I don't know if you noticed that. Mm -hmm. There's three different audio tracks all playing at once for that. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't know if you can figure out what any of them say. I think I got two of them. What? What does it say? Sterilize and kill me. No, kill me is wrong, but sterilize is right. Can you make it out? No. It says, Awaken, awaken. Oh. Of course. <laughs> There's also a third one under there that I could not possibly recite off the bat, or like off the top of my head. <laughs> okay. It's like a whole paragraph that the other one is saying. Oh, there's a bug there. I didn't start the audio again. You have to be within the ring of this of this fog to be able to do damage to it. Do, 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 do. Well, that's great. I'm so glad we're done with that guy. We never have to see another one of those again. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but when we were over there, looking in here, they weren't here yet. I don't think they were, at least. Well, no, I didn't notice, because they weren't here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they don't spawn until after you beat the one in there. But you don't actually have to fight these ones. Can you not... Can you... Can you... Can, can you... Thank you. I'd like my personal space. Do, uh, or were the hand crystals there before or not? I don't know, because they're, they're tied to the enemy, so they don't appear until they do. Um, they all, the, the whispers get slow, they slowly get faster and faster as they chase you, too. Mm. But then they reset again when they stop aggroing. So you can't, you don't want to stay in their range too long or they'll catch up to you. Oh, here's the save spot. Yep. I can't believe what, who I just saw out there in the fog. There's no way that was real. Maybe this place is some sort of cognito hazard. What did they see? <laughs> Memory access violation. <laughs> you know what that's a reference to? Mm -hmm. SCP contained breach bugs. <laughs> I love that game though, but it's it. Yeah. That was a that's a notorious bug from that. Yeah, we were just watching some of that. Were you? Mm -hmm. I just saw. I recently just saw some of the Unity remake version. It followed me here, or maybe this is a different one. I can feel it in the capsule deep below our feet. It creeps into the compound from beyond the fog. I need to mention this is the second time now that they were referring to something when they were on the surface or something like that. But mm. we're putting the log down here. The log reading the log here doesn't mean this is where it was written. Okay, I just want to make that clear. It endlessly sings to me. To us all, louder with my every breath. My body can't decide if the crying soothes or repulses it, but I know how my mind reacts. They lie, they lie when they pretend to hear nothing. I just saw a shadow in the corner of my eye. There we go. <laughs> um, so, like the audio log can be connected to all of them. Yes, so it's like you're it's like you're looking into a local a local server or something like that. What are you doing? Okay. You just turned the light on for some reason. <laughs> Sorry. What a dummy. What a doof. I, I was confused because I didn't realize these were the shoes that my cat had uh, tore up. Oh, okay. Hey, no, calm down out there. No need to be so loud. The thunder. We're talking. <laughs> The adults are speaking. Anyway, is that uh, the end of our time for now? Uh, yes, that is the end of the time. I was hoping I could get to the uh, upgrade that's over there, but I couldn't quite swing it. Alright. Well, anyway, got anything to say? Uh, there you go. That's what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for watching, and good night.
Peace out, Cub Scout.